I am here to mobilize you. Is mobile changing or what? It's actually happening faster than we can keep up. I want to talk to you about a few things today because when it comes to mobile, I'm not so much concerned about you, although I am. I'm concerned more about the consumer. The consumer is being mobilized and having more impact and more information than they've ever had before. Right? True, right? So here's what I want to talk about today. Five uses of tablets, five uses of apps. I'll give you my top five. I've got a few to throw in just to mix it up a little bit. How many of you guys are, I see a lot of iPads in the room. I see a lot of tablets in the room. Show me tablet users in the room, please. Where? Come on. Where's the rest of us? I see you. That's good. Here's what we're going to do. Give me the next slide. I want to tell you my mission. First of all, my mission is to make Realtors more mobile because if we don't shift in the next few years, our consumers are going to outflank us. Tell me if I'm right or wrong. Our consumers, who remembers late in the late 80s, early 90s? Who's been in the business? I saw a lot of people in Florida for over 20 years. What did we have for information back then to share listings? The MLS book. The MLS book. Okay, we controlled all the data, didn't we? We had everything. I'm going to lower my mic a little bit. So we had all the data. They needed us. Now, do they have the data today? They've got Realtor.com. They've got Zillow. They've got Google. They've got Google Maps. They've got blogs. They research the house, drive by the house, map it, sit in front of it, and then call us with an MLS number saying, hey, I'd like to see MLS number 253179. Can you come out and show it to me? Isn't that how it works? Yeah, and they're taking out their smartphones, and they're showing us what other two properties they want to see. And if we're not ready for it, where do they go next? The next house, the next place, because they don't want it to wait. They want it when? They want it now. So my goal, get every realtor mobile. Okay, I come from a realtor background, but I've had a wireless background and a data background. We've got to get more mobile from a tablet to smartphones, and in the next five years, it's going to change drastically. Let me show you what's going to happen. Our consumers have had studies and studies and studies over the years. If you've not heard this one, hear it today. It's the most important thing you can hear today. Over the last 10 years, consumers have had complaints about us. You think they've had complaints about us? They always got something to say, right? It's always been one thing, feedback and communication. I haven't heard enough from my realtor. Where have they been? This year, it's different. And I hate to actually hear this one, but I got to admit, it's true. Number one complaint, consumers feel they have more data and sometimes they feel smarter than their actual realtor. Now, I hate to hear that. That kills me. But why? They have all the research and all the information in the palm of their hands. So we've got to step up our game. What I want to do is mention that in the next five years, five years, maybe three to five, we're going to be accessing the internet more from a mobile device than an actual desktop. So everything is gone to what you hear is the cloud or to a mobile device. So make sure that if you've not stepped up your game. Now, how many of you in the room want to admit to me that you're technically challenged? Come on, how many feel they're technically challenged? Can I, can I help set you straight right now? Okay, you guys started here. You started here, right? Look around the room and see what you progressed to right now. Don't tell me you're technically challenged. You started here and you got to where you are. So you can do this. Get yourself tablets. I started here too, because that's where my day started back in 1988. Consumers have more mobile devices than us sometimes. Who's a social media junkie? Do we access social media from a mobile device nowadays? Okay. How about this? For the extremists, I'm going to read this to you. 48% of 18 to 34-year-olds check Facebook right when they wake up. 28% check Facebook on their smartphones before they get out of bed. Who are you? <laughs> Me too, baby. It's kind of, that's not a sickness. That's just how it is. I got to roll over to my alarm clock on my iPhone, and then I got to see who tagged me in a photo and what's going on. It's being social. It's very true. But if you're not, we're going to talk about a couple quick apps today too. You need to make sure that these devices are built around apps. The apps make our world better. They make our business more productive. And if you don't have them, the consumers do. So my job is just to make us better than we were when we walked in the room today. So here's what's happening. If you don't know this, 36, at least 36 new tablets are hitting the market this year. 
Okay, Apple was the first one to run with the iPad. We'll talk about that a little bit. But everyone's chasing the main stream of tablets. You got from Dell to Motorola to ePad to HTC to Toshiba, all trying to chase 7-inch and 10-inch tablets. The question is going to be which one to buy. And I'll be happy to answer any of those questions when you're ready to make a purchase. I'll give you all my contact information because I become like the consumer's guide. I, I have all these gadgets not because I really want to have them, although it's kind of fun. I get to actually use them from a realtor's mind. I am a realtor. I don't want you being professional technologists. I don't want you being technology gurus. I want you to be better realtors because if we don't do transactions, we don't make money. And no matter how much technology we have, and I love it more than anybody, our business will always be a people business. You need to find them differently, communicate with them differently, and leverage the technology to, to generate leads differently today. Technology enhances it, does not replace how we deal with people. Keep that in mind. My two top tablets coming into, at least for what's out today, has been the iPad 2. I see a few iPad 2s in the room. The Droid platform, which is Android. The Motorola Zoom happens to be a fine device. And you're going to see a lot of other Android-type tablets hitting the market today. So it'll be a little bit of an overwhelm, especially when you get towards holiday. These are my top two for a few reasons. iPad 2 is visually amazing. If you've not put one in your hands, it's fantastic. I mean, I've had the iPad 1, I've had the iPad 2, I've had the Motorola Zoom. I use these devices. Visually, they're amazing. I mean, they're, they're less than a half a pound. This is becoming our new real estate platform. Because guess what? When you're working with buyers, and when you're on a listing presentation, if you're not showing your customer multimedia tours and doing presentations on this thing and actually have data on demand where you're standing, you're missing the boat. You're not providing them the service they're expecting. So these devices are quick and fast. The Motorola Zoom I like a lot. It's an Android platform. Android's got a lot of apps, and it's, they're stepping up their game too. And Android, if you don't know, this is owned by Google. So they're making a huge, huge push into the industry. You're going to see some different things happening. This is over in China right now, over in Asia and the markets. And I'm not sure this is going to work just yet, but I want to prep you for what the future might be, just so you get an idea where the, where the physical devices are going to go. Is there some thoughts of having, because everyone says, Jeff, does this tablet replace a laptop? Do I need a laptop? Do I need a tablet? What do I need? Well, there's hybrids coming out right now where Lenovo has one. I'm not sure it's going to work yet. I've heard there's some kinks in the system. The premise of it is it's a Windows 7 laptop put together Pop the tablet out of the shell, it's an Android tablet on the go. Not a bad idea. Windows 7, laptop, pop it out, Android tablet to go. So these concepts are coming. I think they're going to have a hard time meshing softwares to work together, I think, if you, a little bit. But I think you're going to see people trying to get this kind of technology happening where you get the best of both worlds. Not sure where it's going to go in the next year or two, but it may shift the whole paradigm. Top five t uh, tablet uses. I'm going to give you top five tablet uses, top five apps. I'll give you a few more just as a bonus. First one, here's my quote. I've been talking about this all over, all over the country. Data on demand where you stand. That's what you need. You need data right now, right here. When they want it and wherever you are. So having that information at the fingertips, whether you're on a home inspection, taking notes on a home inspection and sending it right to your customer, or when a customer says to you, hey, I didn't do a uh, radon canister test. How do I do that? And you can pull right up on the web, find out exactly what they're looking for, and show them right there at their home inspection. They have a question about another listing. Pull it up right there. That's what they're going to start to expect from us. Those who take advantage of these technologies will actually be the ones who surpass us and generate the different market that shifts in the next three to five years. Number two, search. Obviously, search is the most important thing. I'm going to share with you a few apps for that. But if you're not searching for real estate on these mobile devices from your iPhones and Androids, that's number one of what we need to do. Searching for properties, mapping them, finding them, showing photos and slideshows. Everything is there. Planning, your calendar systems, your contact manager, all in one place for you to have all of your stuff. So it's, it's a one device that can pretty much do, I'm going to say not everything, but about 90%. Because some of you might be saying, well, I can't get on my MLS for this. My MLS only wants Internet Explorer. And I'm kind of stuck right there. Don't worry about that. There's other ways around that, by the way. And if you need help with that, or if you say, oh, my Internet Explorer, I can't get it on an iPad, which is impossible, I have a way around that. If you ever need that, you can see me afterwards. I'll help you with that. Because I do have some solutions. We've done it before. Presentations. This is an industry issue right now. I know some of you are pretty savvy, but most of us are doing presentations still on paper. Now, paper has always worked. 
right? We've done our flip charts and our stats. But let me ask you this. What's the consumer seeing? When the consumer is shopping, they're looking online. They see YouTube clips. They see virtual tours. They see very visual, visual things. And then we go out there with little flip charts and paper. I'm not saying it doesn't work. But we need to start leveraging this stuff for more visual things. Let me show you our virtual tours live. Let me show you how we're going to effectively market your home. I don't care if you have three slides. Will that make a better impression in front of a customer that shows you're savvy? A lot of times, it's the impression you make. So using presentations, you can use PowerPoint, Keynote, all of that. It's a great use for a tablet. And last is video. Now, no one really thinks much of video, but this is kind of interesting. I mean, they have two cameras in some of the newer ones, right? Where I could actually open up my tablet. They have cameras on the outside, cameras on the inside. And let's see what kind of a handsome crew we have right here. I'm going to show a little video of you guys. So you guys might want to smile. This is kind of cool. What's nice is, it's live, 10-inch screen. I could do a walkthrough. Yeah, you guys are waving. I see you all right there. Um, you guys can do it. It's a 10-inch screen. It's almost like a big monitor. I could do a walkthrough of a piece of property, right? Um, look up, down, anywhere I want, in pretty much high resolution, and within one touch of a button, okay, that's enough for you guys, I got five minutes and 50 seconds right there, I could take one touch of a button and have it uploaded to YouTube in about 35 to 60 seconds. From here, where I stand, I could have it loaded to my PC or my laptop when I get back. I could upload it right here and email it to my blog, a blog like Posterous, where it'll take it and put it on Facebook for me and every place else from here. Okay, so these devices are getting more popular. I met a gentleman this morning, he's here in the back from HD Hat, I think he's in the back. HD Hat, if you see the guy from HD Hat today, I just met him this morning, has some, I think it's Mark, has some fabulous tools and devices for these. Um, little um, cameras and adapters for it and holders and all sorts of tripods. You might want to see him today, he's got some really neat stuff on how to leverage this technology. I'm going to make sure I connect with him as well. Um, HDHat.com. So those are five really good uses. No one realizes you can shoot a lot of good video from that as well. Now, talk about some apps. Everyone wants to talk about apps. There's thousands, hundreds of thousands of apps. I just want to give you a couple good ones. Some of them you may know already. Hopefully you get one or two you didn't know about. My favorite, though, if you've not used, now, first of all, Realtor.com is popular, right? It's a great search app. But how many people are leveraging, let's see if I have a picture of it there. You can't really see it. There's a, a little draw circle at the bottom. I don't know if you can see it here, but at the bottom it says draw. Has anyone leveraged the draw circle on realtor.com and have drawn? Does anybody know what I'm talking about? Okay. How impressive is that? And if you don't know, I'm going to explain it. You could take your tablet, homeowners sitting there, and you could take your finger, draw a circle, a square, whatever shape you draw, and it will highlight all the houses just in that area. Use your finger and highlight a street. It will only show homes in that area. What's the impression a buyer gets when you do that in front of them? Their eyes pop out of their head like you got some magic tablet from, from up above. Because it's an amazing, cool tool. But isn't it more what they want? I just want to live in this community. I don't need to see all the other junk. I just want to see this. That's the kind of stuff we need to be leveraging. So I like it as one of my top search apps, Realtor.com, for that reason and many others. It's a nice device. It shows pictures beautifully. My second, Riedel Docs. Riedel Docs is, it's got a combination. They own a bunch of different apps. Riedel Docs and PDF Expert. They have Scanner Pro and they have calendars. P um, Readle Docs will actually let you open PDF files from attachments of email. It'll let you play movies. It'll con I've actually converted, because remember on the iPad we said we can't play Flash? That's the big thing. I can't play a Flash video on my iPad. I've put videos that are Flash into Readle Docs and it plays like a dream. Okay? PDF Expert can take any PDF that you have, your contract, your listing agreement, your buyer's agreement, Touch the buttons and fill in the contracts right on the screen. Signature with your finger, sign it right there. Save it back as a PDF, email it to whoever you need to email it to. Okay, so these things are possible. Now, of course, based on your laws of your local markets, if that's legal, that's fine. Three, sign my pad's another one, my favorite, sign my pad. Sign my pad is really easy to use. Sign any document, contract, emailable, save it back as a PDF. Very easy to take your finger and drag and drop the names after you type them in. Put them anywhere you want in the, in the screen. Sign my pad. Mortgage calculator. This is Carl's mortgage calculator for Android. It didn't say Carl's up there, but it means Carl's. a little Carl up there. Carl's mortgage calculator is a really fine calculator. Got a lot of good graphs and charts and amortization schedules. One of the nicer ones that I've seen. There might, there's a lot of them out there. This is just one of my favorites. Carl's mortgage calculator. Evernote. Evernote's great for realtors. Why? You could take 
voice message, voice memos, take photos, written script, put them into different notebooks on each property, and have it all collaborated into one little notebook about your property, your home inspection, your walkthrough, all built in with voice memos, pictures, photos, videos, and memos built into one app. It's pretty neat. We'll save it and store it online for you. We'll make your life a little bit easier once you get past the learning curve of a few minutes to learn it. Now, my favorite all-time favorite, many of you are using this, but if you're not using it, please, every Realtor should be on Dropbox. This is the cloud. Dropbox saves all your stuff on every device you have in full mirrored capacity. If I, when I open my iPhone, I have the same documents on my iPhone that I do on my iPad, that I do on my home desktop, that I have on my laptop. It mirrors it. It gives you, this gives you the data on demand wherever you are in full sync. And you could share files with it as well. You could make a file for a customer, share the file with the customer, and they have access to all their documents in one folder. Dropbox is actually rocking the market right now. So, just two more. I had five, but I had two more. Two of my favorites is Cam Card and Cam Scanner. This is really pretty awesome. Cam Card and Cam Scanner. You could take your device, take a picture of your contract. It'll help you shape it out if it doesn't shape it out like a full rectangle. Save it as a PDF and send it off right from there. Picture of it, PDF, email it. All from just taking the picture of it. Full conversion. Cam, uh, cam Card, Cam Scanner. And oh, just one more. <laughs> I just can't stop. Hootsuite, you guys love social media, right? We don't have sometimes time to do, I, I tweet every day, I, I, I'm on Facebook every day, I do all this stuff. Hootsuite helps me manage my social media. My social media, I can schedule my tweets, I can schedule my listings, I can schedule everything I wanna do, I can see all my dashboard of my Facebook, my Twitter account, and my LinkedIn, anything I wanna see. One dashboard, Hootsuite is free, has apps for your phones, and I like the part where I can schedule my stuff. I don't schedule my personal stuff, I stay personal, but my marketing pieces and my promotional stuff, you might see a tweet come out now and I'm standing here because it's scheduled. So help schedule your time and manage your time. Check out Hootsuite, don't cost you anything, it's free as well. On that note, um, I wanna to talk to, uh, real quick um, about a giveaway. We have a little giveaway. What's that? Two minutes, oh, I got plenty of stuff to talk about for two minutes. Um, what I, actually, what I do want to talk about is what we're going to give away. One of my favorite devices, and I've had them for years, and I want to tell you why. Not just, it's not just because it's a giveaway. Free is good, but there's got to be something of substance. The Kodak PlayTouch. I've used it for years. I've used the ZI8. I've used the ZI6. I've used them all. I even have the Kodak Play Sport. If you're an outdoor person, especially down here if you're on the water a lot, and you like the outdoors, the Play Sport by Kodak is waterproof. High res, high def, Quality. I've taken pictures of my kids and video underwater in Orlando with high-res Kodak Play Sports. The Play Touch, here's why I like it. I've always gotten hung up on, I'm a bit of a control freak. When I'm out on a property, I want to have full control of everything. If I get out there and some of these cameras have only standard 60 minutes of video storage, if I get out to a property and I only got five minutes left, I've got to unload the thing, I've got to plug it into something. The Play Touch has always had a side SD card a little SD card that you could pop out and switch out cards anytime you want. One touch button, and better than that, I am not a kind of guy that likes to edit things. I hate editing things. I don't have patience to edit anything. The Kodak takes a little piece of software where if I'm standing in front of the camera and I'm doing my ums and ahs and I'm just making a mess of what I'm supposed to be saying, I can take a little clip of that and it cuts it right out. With my little finger, I take it and it cuts out the clip that I want right on the camera before I upload it. It's that little feature that helps me. The other nice part about the Kodak PlayTouch and the software is I can have a cool video being shot. And did you ever want a picture sometimes out of a video? You go, oh, I wish I could have a picture of that pose right there. You could do that. You can go through the, through the video, touch the scene that you want, it'll take a JPEG photo of it and let you import that out. So if you ever need that picture for your blog or for your picture of your house that's in the video, you can actually take it out and snaps it out as a JPEG. That's pretty cool stuff for what we need, because if it made it difficult, we wouldn't use it. So I love this product. Okay, so let's give one away. Who wants one? I know I do. I can't get enough of them. Me, 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 me. All right, this is our, we have a great relationship with Exit and Kodak, so we wanted to just at least give you guys one for being here today. I enjoy being here. I'm not going to look. Get the one that says Matt Fagioli, will you? Matt Fagioli. Matt, I got one. Here it is. Whoa, this is a, jeez. Dug deep. Oh, all right. I'll get, Ready? No. No? No. no. 
right, we're going to change the card. No, go ahead. Hopefully. Call the name. Evelyn. Evelyn. Forey. Forey. Come on up. Come on up. Woo! The big winner. You're the big winner on the prices, right? Congratulations. If you have any questions on how to use it, I'll be happy to show you how to use it. Here's what I want you guys to see real quick. See if there's one more slide. Oh, where's my, I don't know if my last slide was there, no? That's all right. And let me just give you this. If you need to connect with me, have any questions about technology, two addresses, very simple. jlob.com, jlobb.com, and jlob.info. Either way, reach out to me. I'd be happy to help you. We're here to support Explode, and we absolutely love being on this stage.